Hi everyone, and welcome to this text series by Voice Foundry. In this episode, we're going to look at dial by extension. This is a question we get asked often from customers. Over the course of the next few minutes, we're going to explore how we can solve this problem by using the wider AWS ecosystem. First, let's have a quick look at the problem statement we're trying to solve for. Natively, Amazon Connect doesn't have a notion of extensions. You can't simply press 1234 and get connected to an agent. Amazon Connect is based on the concept of queues, and agents belong to queues through their routing profiles. In December, Amazon released a feature called Personal Queues. This allowed us to route to agents directly to their personal queues. However, Amazon Connect uses the agent ARN, or the agent username, to be able to send calls to the users. What we really need is a way to use extensions that our existing customers are using today. For that, we're going to use a translation solution. We're going to ask the caller to enter the extension they require, and then behind the scenes, we're going to translate that number into the agent username, and then we'll dial the agent's personal queue. Let's have a look at the architecture of how we're going to solve for that. On the left-hand side, the customer is going to call into an Amazon DDI and get through to Amazon Connect. We'll prompt the caller to enter the extension number they require, and then we'll do a Lambda call using that extension they entered. The Lambda will then query the DynamoDB table for the extension and return the agent's username. We will use the agent's username within the Connect contact flow to dial the agent's personal queue and connect the customer directly to the agent. You will also notice we have an admin UI and an authentication icon on here. We built this for some of our existing customers where the administrators can log into a web page and administer the solution. They can enter the agent extension and then link that to an agent username. Let's take a quick look at an example administration UI. I'm currently showing the administration UI logged in. Prior to that, I would have received a splash page to log in with my Amazon Cognito credentials. We can see on the left hand side we've got the extension 1111. We also have a username or queue that that is mapped to. And then we have some additional configuration items. This is really advanced configuration and beyond really the scope of this tech series. What I really want you to walk away knowing is that the extension number on the left maps the agent's username. This means you could provide this user interface to your call center administrators and they can go in and configure and make changes to this as required. Now we have a good understanding of the architecture and we've seen the admin user interface which exposes the database configuration. Let's have a look at the Amazon Connect contact flow so we can see how this all ties together. Here is the example contact flow. First, we're asking the customer a question using the store customer input. The question is please enter the extension number. We're using the information that's provided to invoke a Lambda function. The Lambda function will go off to DynamoDB and return the agent extension username for the extension number that the customer required. If the agent extension username wasn't in the database, then the Lambda function will return not found, and we're checking for that in our check contact attributes action block. If it's not found, we'll go back and do a loop. We'll tell the caller that we were unable to find the extension number and to try again. On the third attempt, we're going to complete the loop and say sorry we're unable to find the extension you require. If we receive a username, we will then set a working queue we will then transfer the caller to that queue and then the agent's phone will ring. Okay, well let's go ahead and try this out. All right, here we are. We've got CCP displayed on the screen at the moment. As you can see, I'm currently logged in as agent two. I'm going to make a call into the system. On my first attempt, I'm going to fail on purpose just so we can hear the error handling. And on the second time round, I'm going to enter extension 2222 which translates to my agent2 at example.com username. Let's go ahead and dial the system. Hello, thanks for calling the Voice Foundry demo system. These are some examples of what the Amazon Connect Virtual Contact Center can enable you to do. Press 1 to be put in queue for an agent, or 9 to dial an agent extension number. Please enter the four digit extension number. Sorry. 
We've been unable to find an extension matching 3698 turning you to the menu to try again. Please enter the four digit extension number. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order. And there we are. Our customer is now connected directly to the agent using the extension they know of 2222, which has been mapped to our agent's personal queue based on their username. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short episode in our tech series. Please feel free to check out the blog post where we provide the sample contact flow and CloudFormation scripts so you can test this out yourself. Until next time, keep on building.